Well, good morning, world, and all who inhabit it. My name is Scott, and I do not sleep a lot. I felt good, then I was angry at the world. What's wrong? What's up, guys? Before we get into the video, if anyone is into Reddit, I just made my own little Scotty Sire subreddit. The first post I have on there is an AMA allowing you guys to ask me questions, and I was hoping to pull questions from there to make my next video. So if anyone wants to go and join that Reddit, the link is in my description below. It's also right here, Scotty Sire SR. SR stands for subreddit, not senior, although I am pretty old. I'm not that old. But anyways, go ask me a question to be in the next video, and now let's carry on with the vlog, shall we? Last night, I went to bed at 2, and I woke up at 5.30, laid in bed for 30 minutes, and then realized I wasn't going back to sleep, so I got up, wrote some notes down. I talked to my psychiatrist yesterday. He said that was a good thing to do. If you can't sleep, you got racing thoughts, get up, write some notes down. Maybe read a book, then go back to sleep when you feel like you're ready. So I did that. I wrote down my notes, and then I uh, tried to go back to bed, laid in there for 30 minutes at 6.40, and now it is 7.15, so... Um, that didn't work for me, but uh, maybe one day it will. It's kind of funny how my brain works. I feel like I get the opposite of what I'm looking for. So like yesterday I was like, I'm gonna go to sleep relatively early. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna wake up and have a very productive day. And instead I got no sleep. I'm still gonna try to have a productive day, okay? I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna vlog a little bit. I'm gonna get an early workout in. I'm gonna look at the positive side of things. Even though things didn't work out the way I wanted them to, maybe we'll be able to turn this day into something great, okay? People have been asking what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna tell you what I make for breakfast. I took a food reaction test and it said I was allergic to eggs, potentially. I cut out eggs for a couple weeks and it didn't really solve any problems, so I'm bringing them back. That was extraordinarily difficult to do with one hand. And there you have it, avocado toast, eggs, and coffee. It's a breakfast of losers. Actually, it's extremely nutritious. It gets your protein, a little bit of carbs, it gets your energy going for the day, healthy fats in the avocado, and uh, coffee, which creates the illusion of having energy by tricking your brain into thinking that you have more energy than you actually do. Which is why when you drink coffee when you're really tired, sometimes it just makes you feel like shit, because you're still really tired. You just have like a drug in your body that makes you feel like <gasps> awake. But yeah, don't crack eggs with one hand. Try not to film while you're cooking because you'll probably fuck up your eggs. Those were supposed to be like yellow and golden and scrambly and nice, but instead they're burnt. I'm still gonna eat them though. The eggs aren't as bad as I thought they'd be. There's some parts that are harder than I'd like, but they're okay. Todd's here now to work out, so I guess it's time for me too. Look at that stretch. So nice. I thought it was gonna be okay, but I'm starting to feel like I'm losing my mind. Plus the shaped face is just odd. Oh, the more I look at myself, the less I like it. <laughs> oh shit, I knocked over his water what? bottle. It's alcaline water, it's worth more than your mom's life. I'm kidding, Oh Sheila. fuck, kidding. dude, that was a major I'm burn kidding. on my mom. Your dad's life, there you go, Sheila. Ha <laughs> I'm wait a minute, that's my dad's life. <laughs> George. You screwed me over, yeah. dude. <laughs> Check out my new music, baby, it's coming out in March. Hopefully, if, if I get my shit in order. You're never gonna get your shit in order. You know how I know? You're not gonna get your shit together because I'm not gonna get my shit together and we do everything together. That means not getting our shit together together. You know what? I wish I could say that's true, but I call you every day and every morning to hang out and do stuff and you don't answer me. Yeah, you know what? Well, you're gonna, Julia knows! You're gonna miss me missing your phone calls when I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that would, yeah, definitely. You're gonna be like, oh, he's not gonna pick up, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> Hey, fuck you, Scott. Why don't you get your little ashes together and be a fucking person and answer the goddamn phone? Why don't you? Why don't you come on a hike with me? In my in my will, I write my urn must be given to Todd so he can take me on hikes with him. <laughs> what do you call this? I think we call it video blogging. Video blogging. This is my backyard, guys. I have a lawn over here. Julian, Jack was supposed to be out here 15 minutes ago, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go check on her. Thanks, dude. No problem. Down. She shut the door on me and said she's going pee. I don't like trampolines. You see it, like actually? Penis tingle. What? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I didn't think she had it in her, but she's up and she's working out. She just switched from a 10-pound weight to a five. Okay, 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 okay. 
nobody needed to know that. <laughs> Ten minutes later and the session is over. <laughs> when physical trainers think of the term, work smarter, not harder, they mean find a client like Jacqueline. <laughs> Almost forgot to tell you my next meal since I was out here getting a two and a half hour pump. You know what I'm saying? Two and a half hours sleep, two and a half hour pump. Work out, you get a little protein shake in. It's got pea protein, glutamine 5000, and an amazing green superfood mix. I find that it keeps me healthy, helps me sleep better at night, and I don't know what the fuck it does, man, but you're supposed to do this stuff after you work out. Gotta be straight up with you. I didn't want to be a quitter. I didn't want to give up on my day of two and a half hours sleep, but I did lay down in the guest house and try to take a little nap. I'm not sure if I did, but I tried. It was about an hour and a half of shut-eye. It's what I call it, because I don't know if I actually fell asleep. Can't remember waking up. You never remember falling asleep, but you usually remember waking up. But all I remember is having to pee and going pee, finally. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get up and go. Now what do I do? Very excited, just went to Walgreens, picked up my sleeping medication I was prescribed by my psychiatrist. Plus, we got Jack a knee brace, because she's been working out a lot and her knees hurt. I have wobbly knees. You gotta work on the I got them from my mom. Uh-oh. They're wobbly. Need a little extra support, a little ice. And a little knee brace. It's actually not little, because you got those Simbas on there. You gotta have a big knee brace to cover those things up. What is that face? What did I do? You just told me I had big fucking fat knees that I had to cover. <laughs> I was just messing around. You want in and out? No. I'm going to starve you. Starve me? And then feed you to a fucking lion. I call them bitches scary cats. I call them Carol Baskins. Ah. The lion's on my knees. They're so big. They'll probably eat you. <laughs> is it stable? Does it feel stable? I don't know. All I do know is I look like a Weenie Hut Jr. On camera, you look like Tomb Raider because your pants look black and that looks black and it just looks like a cool little strappy thing on your knee. Who is Tomb Ra Raider? Laura Croft? Laura Croft. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <sighs> She's not geriatric aged! I was so tired last night, I forgot to tell you guys what I ate, but it was a chicken Caesar wrap from Bossa Nova, it looks like this. Now, I'm going over to Bruce's, working on some music, and Jack is looking up outdoor furniture. I want an outdoor sectional to have coffee on every morning, like I'm on a vacation. By the way, I have an album coming out, it's linked in my description below, and I have a brand new song called Just Us 2 that is out now with the music video, so check it out and stay tuned for the album. Yeah! I'm not whoop powing right now. It's not the end of the video. I gotta go make music. Go make music, baby. I'm gonna. <laughs> You're not even playing, dude. Yeah, I am. Back to you guys. Where am I slipping? Do my feelings self medicate? And I feel this. I need a distraction. What's better than a home? I almost threw up. What were you doing? I don't know. Singing about love. So cliche. Why'd I come here anyway? Every love is a matter of. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the highest of them all? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> Today we are filming the NJMI podcast. This is my lovely girlfriend, Jack, and hey. my co-host, Jack. Hey. And today we are filming the high episode of the podcast. So Jack here has a joint. Duh, I stay ready. And Jack here has a... Weird compulsive disorder that makes him do that, and also a lighter. <laughs> Kevin, you bummed out you can't smoke with us, homie? No. You're not. That's good, you shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna be hot, I'm so excited! Oh god. <laughs> I look like a drug pusher, but guys, only smoke weed if you want to smoke weed. Don't ever let anyone pressure you. But Jack, get over here, you need one more hit. Anyways guys, it's gonna be a fun episode, so check it out, link in my description below. Yay! <laughs>